on the board. Let's see. No. Let's get a shot from the side. I don't think so. Yeah. See the brittle stars are just out there in the breeze. Don't see any sea stars. Can you see the nodes for the bamboo? It looks like it. But we yeah, can't go ahead and push on in there a bit. Steve or not Steve. <laughs> Dave. Yeah, there's the nodes. There's the nodes, yeah. Internodal branching. I think that's what some barnacles. Yeah. Kind of curious. Go ahead and come full wide there, please. When you see heavy predation like that and you have now individual branches and those polyps are no longer connected soft tissue with the, another branch is that still the same animal i don't know good question it seems like a dissertation topic it's a ph philosophical <laughs> question <laughs> We're going to switch over to 240. 240, Reg. Bridge nav. Step 100 meters, bearing 240. 240. So we'll be going. We were coming this way, and now we're going to head up that way. Head up the strike of that, yeah. Yeah. Bridge. Roger Might that. be a little bit weird, but. A little bit weird. A little weird at first. <laughs> Little sponge growing in there. Oh yeah. Call it the crevice sponge, I think. I don't really see them growing into crevices too much though. No. It's a little recruit that's made its own Go ahead and push on in there a bit, Dave. Made its own path. Yeah, I mean, it seems like that wouldn't really be too advantageous, but there must be enough current. Yeah. Seems like we have Chris Kelly watching. Any ID on this one, Chris? Chris, hello. Hey, Chris. Hello. Okay, well, Adam's going to be back oh, in a few minutes. I'm going to leave you to Sarah to lead the rest. I've got a phone call I have to be on. So. All right. Roger Adam that. will be back Good. in a few. Thanks for being Thanks, here. Thanks, Fun joining y'all. Yeah. Thank Come back you. anytime. Full oh, wide, please. Thanks to our viewers watching from all over the world. We have a lot of dedicated viewers, and we appreciate you making this mandatory viewing for your children. <laughs> mandatory <laughs> viewing? <laughs> Forced uh, inspiration.
<laughs> and I'm also going to step away for a few minutes and take care of a classroom interaction. I'll be back. Sarah. Okay. Yeah. You are right. back row. No parents. <laughs> I think I have a replacement coming. Where Off shall we go, rail. guys? <laughs> How does it feel? <laughs> Home alone. Yeah. Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> Another one of those. Kevin. Chris Gorgia's on a stalk. Chris Gorgia. That I want to be a Metallagorgia, but isn't. Oh. <laughs> if only. Pretty. All right, Dave, work your magic. One bump up here. Oh, why there, please? Well, that's a different one. That's a different one. Looks like a bamboo, perhaps. Yeah, it could be. Yeah. Zoom out. Go ahead and push on in a bit there, please, Dave. It's a nice shot this way. Where are you nodes? Yeah, there they are. They're in yeah. there. Got to push on in a bit more. Definitely bamboo. Go ahead and come a little wide there, please. It's a boogie soon. Yeah, we can get some time in the box. Time in the bank, time in the box. Yeah. All right, full wide there, please. Oh. Hello. Oh, Bob, you're ruining my watch lead moment. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yeah, no push out ahead. Short lived. Short lived. Fun while it lasted. Yeah. Okay. Some more of that bamboo coral. It yeah. looks like another Chrysogorgia bottle bottle brush. Bottle brush. Starting to see a bit more diversity here. Well, you're listening, but you're not talking. Do you want to not talk? Okay. Secrets. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> you can just say whatever Bob's saying as if you said it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Test one, two. Yeah, we got you here. Welcome back, Adam. Thank you. Everyone on your best behavior. <laughs> big Boss is back here. <laughs> Just stop trying to make Big Boss work. It's not going to happen for you. It was a really good presentation, though. Good job. Yeah, I thought that was fun. That was really nice. I love how ISC makes it so yep. seamless. Let me know about the volume. Uh, Anthemastis, mushroom, coral, another bottle brush, Chrysogorgia to the right. There's our Vermilagorgia militaris to the right. Uh -huh. Sorry, honey. It's like pushing past them and then you're trying oh, no. to name them all. I'm just, just scrolling through. <laughs> Maybe I'll remember it for next cruise if I say it often enough. Ah, Raj. Oh, you also have <laughs> Kelly in here <laughs> taking over Lisa's job for half an hour. Whoa. Well, you got a stack cast back there. And just rotating cast members. <laughs> <laughs> I miss it so much. I had to just steal yeah, her Jake, job for a Jake, do you want to just leave? Sure. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I think that'd be better for everybody. <laughs> yeah, we'll just we'll just hit a wall. Don't you mean Adam? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Renny, how far is it from waypoint five to waypoint six? Roger, let me check. So we just started to go two four zero to go up that kind of gentle slope there. We're right around waypoint five. Oh, forget waypoint six. What about the summit? <laughs> Oh, sorry, let me get some context here. This, that summit. Yeah. Okay. Forget waypoints. Just forget it. Um, just about five, 600 meters. Oh, great. So go to this yeah. summit and then yeah. we have other summits. That, that is the, that's a little summit. See, then we got to go. I'm zooming out so you can big, see big there. Big, big summit. Yep. <laughs> yeah, dragons. Well, Bob, I don't think you're uh, you're not trans you're not on SPL. I don't think he wants to be. He's quiet. He doesn't want. Oh, to come on, all right, oh, we want to hear you. All right, this is, <laughs> yeah, uh, is. <laughs> this is a mystery guest. Oh, I'll have to behave now. One of rats. One of the. People here has been in a bathy scaff. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> Ready? What, when did we have <laughs> our first control van? Mm, I'm gonna say 1997. That's a complete guess. That was my guess. Well, let's see. When did we have it? What was the question there, Bob? When did we have our first command center? Similar to this, but not as not as swanky. Sure it's yeah. swanky. It was the uh, first cruise with Argo? Oh, I think was when we had nineteen eighty five. Well, we had it. Well, let's see. When we were using, see, when we did Angus, we did it in the main lab. In the lab. In the lab. Yeah. The first command center would have been when we went out to the Thresher nuclear sub. Oh, right. And that would have been in the 70s, no, 80, I'll have to look it up, 83, I think. Oh, looks like. Uh, I, have, I have it on my laptop. I have all 160 expeditions. Oh, my God. I hope what? that's backed up. I'm going to do a yeah, quick zoom on this guy here, Dave. Yeah, I'm going to go get that. Go look at that go color. That's a nice Number color. Nine here. Nice color, long cucumber. Hmm. 
Yeah, nice holothurian. It's a filter feeder. Sucks really nice up that color. sediment and I don't know, what if you gave a holothurian like something really tasty? Like nutritious? Yeah. <laughs> it was probably, that was like, it. Oh no, no, no. I prefer I prefer sediment. Yeah. <laughs> can you come full wide there, please? Mm. It's just crazy the colors that they can become when yeah. there's no light down there and they're just eating like yeah. marine debris falling from the ocean, like in dirt. Like or sediment. You know, it's how they get that color is Yeah, it's wild. Oh, there's something at the end of that stick. Oh, there it is. <laughs> is that the, is that another colophagus? I love yeah, these. Go ahead and do a partial zoom there, please, Dave. Not specialized yet. Yeah, Chris Kelly will tell us if this is a colophagus or not. Well, he just has to write into the SCF chat because he can't get into the science, so it's hard to talk to Chris. You want to drop the lasers there, Jake? Yeah. Flavor shot. Flavor shot. How tall do you think that is? Ooh, I am five meters off the deck. Wow. And this is in front of our nose, so probably maybe six meters tall. Maybe five, because we're... Yeah, down slope. Down slope. Bit. Five meters, let's say. That's so cool. So, we don't have any biologists in here right now, but does the stock keep growing? Or I, please? does it get as tall as it's going to get and then make the head? I've seen many ones of these, and it seems like the stock is skinnier. So I think they grow together. Grow at the same time, yeah. Starting to get a bit higher density of corals. <laughs> Nice crinoid hanging off that one. That was really cool when you got that crinoid swimming. Mm. Oh, yeah. That oh, yeah. was beautiful. Did you have a uh, HU presentation? or? Was uh, this was a... OECI seminar, you know, they've done, this was the sixth one, and sixth and final. Are you going to go up on that delta a little? Do a hand over here. Two fours, go Raj. Not yet. I'm on it. <laughs> Come up a little bit too, Jake. You know what we haven't seen are the slit limpets. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was very particular to that site, and there was tons there, whichever seamount that was. Yeah, and we were really deep then, too. Yeah.
All right, Adam, since I'm not normally on a watch and probably don't hear this all the time, can you talk about these rock formations and what exactly they are? Yeah, sure. So we are climbing up the side of a, a seamount that's volcanic in origin. So what we're looking at are uh, old lava flows, but we can't actually see the basaltic rock that they're made up of because they've been coated with a thick layer of iron manganese oxide precipitate. So underneath, you know, the kind of lumpy terrain we're seeing is because the lava forms uh, pillows as it emerges from the seafloor and you get big ridges of these kind of bulbs of lava that stack one upon another. Um, sometimes they break apart and you can see it into their inside, but here we're seeing everything kind of muted in its shapes because of this great amount of uh, push on in there, please, Dave. manganese oxide coating. Now, what are these? Is this chrysogorgia? It looks I think like that's a kind of it, yeah. There's yeah. like a small white anemone bottom right also. Go ahead and push on in there, full. Yeah. That's pretty. Sorry, guys. Super, Super delicate. I, oh, my God, Rennie. I was just about to say those same words. <laughs> you are the same. Mind are meld. What is the, uh, yeah, I was going to say the yellow thing that kind of yeah. spins around it. I, think those I are don't know what that is. Worms of some kind. Worms, maybe? He's typing. Sure, yeah. He'll tell us. All right. Is it yeah. pre predating on the coral? Curly worms are aplacophorin. Boy, mollusks. And coral predators. Ooh. All right, Jake, I'll get you out in front, and it's your turn. Was the black one a bathy bathy? I tell? think it was down there. Jess, if you kind of pivot to your left in the Argus view, you can see a couple really big sponges. Yeah. Yeah, we can. Take we'll have over. Jake take a look at those because I'm just trying to get out in front of him so that he has enough time. But yeah, there's those um, ones that have the long stalk on them. Mm hmm. Abundance. Yeah, there's a couple more even beyond that that he might be able to get. Yeah. All right, Jake. I think you're in a good spot here. All right. Switching over. Definitely had a change in density. Yeah. Oh, switching up pilots. I can't wait till it's my turn. <laughs> Kelly and I have next. <laughs> Kelly and I have next for the next switch. We're yeah. gonna the Colin Dib. There's a Brisingid star all curled up. Nice big bamboo coral. Big bamboo. Big bamboo. We have a viewer wondering if you've ever seen anything, Adam, that has scared you on a dive. Uh, this is a no. bamboo coral. Uh, actually, on an Alvin dive, the first time I, I went and saw condensation <laughs> forming on the window and kind of collecting at the bottom, I was like, 
uh, I think we have a leak here, but they said, nope, it's not a leak. It's just condensation. Oh, that's cool. Wow. Your answer, too, but also the shot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another stalked sponge, possibly Caliphacus. I think they're Caliphacus uh, oxydiscus when they're Oxy lumpy. Discus. It's Caliphacus with a TH, or is it Caliphacus with an F? PH, I think. Caliphacus. So an F sound, okay. They'd be able to push on, on Argus a little bit there, too. Do you yeah. suggest cool that you shot. should move to the back row? Ready. <laughs> I came from there. <laughs> I have to keep moving forward. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I'll be, I'll be in behind the monitors soon, <laughs> facing everyone. All right, full on the light bridge, be like, oh, what's that? And Rennie's head will pop out. California. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Jake. That is so yep. cool. That's such a cool shot. I'm auditioning for the new Clippy <laughs> <laughs> for Microsoft Word. <laughs> hey, I noticed you don't know what sponge this is. <laughs> Would you like a tip? That's cool, too. Look at all those little shrimp. All right. Oh. All right. Nice shot. Try to go get out ahead. Yep. It's another little sea cucumber. A little pink guy. Yeah. Rennie is 215. 240. 240, Rudge. Okay. So that is Early on, we collected a bunch of sea cucumbers because there was a student at Hawaii interested in what they're eating. And you froze them, right? Yeah. We did. I'm super curious about what they look like frozen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like an ice Go cube? Go down to the gym. <laughs> yeah. They're in the minus 80. What'd to you someone, say? To someone that doesn't know that the freezer's in the minus 80, it kind of sounded pretty threatening. Well, why don't you come down to the gym? <laughs> <laughs> Face me in a battle. <laughs> Settle this once and for all. <laughs> Rennie, do you think that an, a frozen sea cucumber would be an iced cuke? Oh, iced cuke. That's pretty <laughs> good. I'm sorry. I didn't I didn't quite understand that. Instead of ice cube? <laughs> ice cube, ice cube, cuke. Got it. Now I, did. I was thinking there was some sort of food where you eat iced cucumbers. Oh, yeah. maybe but there a isn't. mojito. Oh. oh. Uh, <laughs> Kind of a gazpacho mojito. Oh. That sounds oh. horrible. <laughs> gazpacho. <laughs> it's called a gaspito. It's only, it was only made once. A never gazpito. again. <laughs> All right, round of gaspitos is on me when we get to work. <laughs> Ice cube gaspito. I don't want to try a gazpito now. <laughs> I had a cucumber margarita. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, quick yeah. zoom on this. It's pretty good. Pretty good. This is that super delicate chrysogorgia. Yeah. Chrysogorgia delicata? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> is that the actual name? <laughs> Gio will just make everything up anyway. So yeah, right. He's trying, he's trying to Shh, apply that to another that. field. <laughs> 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 nice zoom. Oh, that's pretty. So like airy looking. Yeah. I saw when we collected something like it and t taking it out of the bio box with little forceps, and it was like really yeah. fine structure. Right. Oh, come on, stay out ahead. Nice. We're getting a lot of biology questions about the sponges, but this watch is. A lot of geologists. Oh, it doesn't matter. We'll answer them. Yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> Someone's wondering, how do those big floating, like the sponges with the super long stalks, how do they appear to be floating? Wouldn't they be top heavy and just kind of flop over? Or if, is the water making them? 
They, float looking. they do eventually lose their heads sometimes. It seems like, you know, yeah, flying, flying a little too close to the sun. Get too big for their stalk and the current conditions. And Yeah, it looks to me like the stalk is stronger, right? Like as it gets bigger, it gets thicker walled, and it's kind of like a... Yeah, kind of like... Yeah, strong enough to hold it up in water. I guess so, yeah. There's nothing that makes the top floaty, though. It's uh, yeah. like just a little denser than water. Ooh, nice one. What do we think that one is? Para? Uh, bamboo. Bamboo. Para what were you about to say? I don't. I was gonna say a scientific name. Just oh. the just one that I kind of remember. In your brow bars. <laughs> the one you throw out for every single Probably coral. Good. I'm just. It's a gorgia. I'm sure of that. <laughs> no. No? <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, what is it? Bamboo coral. Bamboo. But it must have a some sort of Latin name too, yeah? Um, <laughs> good theory. Nice shot. What is the Latin name for bamboo coral? I don't know the answer to that. <laughs> what? Really? It's the one we just call bamboo? We don't have a... I'm, I'm sure it does have one. I I'm sure. Know, I don't know what it, <laughs> Interesting. what it is. Um, Isididae is I something. Isididae. <laughs> Doesn't roll off the tongue. Isididae. Sounds like something Steve said before. <laughs> I'm looking in the guidebook back here. Those are the only ones I got for you. Clade? It's clade. Oh, yeah. The only clade I got is S clade. That's the only one I can. <laughs> you can identify it? Maybe. All right. <laughs> Maybe. What about, are there R clades and, you know, does it go along the alphabet? G clades. I just see Esca J. Clade. Well, I our clades haven't really been popular since I'd say the 80s. <laughs> I, they're actually coming back. <laughs> I have a whole drawer for, full of our clades that I can now wear again. <laughs> I like where Adam went with it. Nice. That's that would have been a huge sponge. Oh. Yeah. yeah, we've seen a lot of those guys. It seems like a lot of oh. those we don't really have. All right, I'll let the group know. Hey, we got... A live. Yeah, a live one. Yeah. Great. We got an answer on the first command center, uh -huh. 1984. Jake 84. was super close. With nice. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. Good job, Jake. Bingo. I was negative three years old. I was <laughs> negative 12. Minus two. You guys are depressing me. Stop saying <laughs> <laughs> He was rocking Arclades back in the day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ruse on my feet, Arclades, and a headband. <laughs> headband. Want to zoom in on this, Dave? Quick. That's a cool shot. Like a little swirly gigs going on there. A very light colored bamboo yeah. coral. Nice shot. All right. Go ahead again. See, I want to be going two four zero, but it doesn't appear that we're going two four zero. I don't know if that's... Oh, sorry.
Yeah, but uh, like this, the general, like, um, and even that last ship move looks like it was 210. Seems like we'll get to 2700 right before the peak, the summit, right? Ready? We will get to 2700 before the summit. Is that correct? <clears throat> it looks that way according to our current depth, but not according to our waypoint measurements. Right. So we're seeing some offset here. But waypoint six is back down off of the peak. You're right. Mm -hmm. It is. How many contour lines is it down off the peak? I don't know. The map is, the image is too small that I'm, I'm gonna, looking at. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, six. 60 meters. Okay. So, yeah, no, we could get, we could, we might be able to get 2,700 at this peak. We'll see if the rocks look good or if we want to save it to go to the next. Because we'll, hit, we'll hit 27 peaks? again. Because we'll hit at 2,780 on the waypoint 7. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we can go up. I think we want to get a, oh, a rock on this peak because then we're going to go off bottom and scoot over to the next okay. waypoint. Unless um, Jake wants to work on his downhill driving. Uh, downhill scoop. I mean, I could you definitely use the work. You can do anything, Jake. <laughs> it would be painful, though. <laughs> cool as an ice cuke. <laughs> <laughs> See? Oh, whoa. Catching on. I <laughs> Thank you for humoring me, Adam. <laughs> I love that your puns elicit, like, discussion. Like, Huh. <laughs> That's because I had to explain my jokes, so <laughs> it's not because they're intellectually sound. <laughs> Forced discussion for us to understand the joke. <laughs> Jake, how many times have you gotten to pilot Herc so far? Um, on this expedition, uh, I usually get about half an hour. Jess gives me about half an hour on every watch. Yeah, half hour to hour. So I think because we, that last move, we were coming a bit more south than I intended. We'll over, we'll compensate and go 260 to get back on this ridge here. You can see it's all off to our right there. Yeah. So we'll get, try to get to the top. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I think I said at least 30 minutes. <laughs> it's cold. That's a nice cuke. <laughs> See, I'm trying to drag a few more minutes out of it. <laughs> All right, where are we at here? 260 will bring us. Renny, I know we were just talking about this, but we have a question coming in asking, how far are we from the first summit? From the first summit? Like the um, one that we're heading to, I think, right now. Yeah, and I, was, I can, let's see. It was 600 meters, I think, so. Yeah, now it's about 450. Nice. And uh, it's kind of, I guess you could call it a summit. There's a... A local summit? Yeah, it's a local summit. There's mm. a kind of a ridge, general ridge-like oh, structure yeah. that's off of the main peak. It's interesting that it, there's this gap there, right? So right. it's probably not a continuous rift zone. This was probably like a little satellite eruption next to the larger seamount. So this could be like the Luihi to Big Island comparison. Is that what you're getting at? Uh, yeah, on a much smaller scale. Like yeah. I think that these seamounts probably represent in some ways kind of a single eruption 
you know, maybe over a period of decades, but uh, and with little pauses, but people people view these as kind of monogenetic, as they say, like mm. one eruption. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. All right, Kelly, question for there you. What's the weirdest question you've gotten <laughs> from the chat? Um, I don't think she says those. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think yeah, I she's allowed to say those on SPL. <laughs> yeah. We definitely get a, a wide range of questions. But, <laughs> but it's fun, too. Like, it depends on the age of who's asking. Like, you know, you can get school kids joining in in their classrooms and they'll ask questions that they would have normally ask in a live interaction of really anything like we have gotten all of the like have you seen mm -hmm. have you seen this have you seen this have you seen this um but and then we get you know college students or we get community centers and it's full-on super hard questions that we have to always pass to the scientist so it just depends on who's asking but that's why I love the comment and question box on our website. It's really awesome just in general to get questions from the viewers watching just because they are so random and so kind of all over the place. But it does feel like uh, from the science side, it's really great to see that people are watching and interested. And of course, we'll yeah. be happily talk about the stuff yeah. we're interested in all day long. All right, guys, it's been fun. Lisa's back. Bye, Kelly. Bye, Kelly. Thanks, Kelly. Just musical chairs back there. Yeah. We got an open seat, Jake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. ET's so that should be 260, Jess, as we go up. Uh, we're going to be, we're heading 260. <laughs> 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 Put some googly eyes on top. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Leave no trace except for googly eyes. <laughs> Bring those down. Mm -hmm. All right. There's another swimming uh, crinoid oh, there. Yeah. Is he going to take off? I don't know. Might it be settling? Still doing arm stuff. I'm going to 
quick zoom on this crinoid. It's playing it cool now. Yeah. Oh. oh Come on. I bumped the rock. I startled him. Do a flip. It's doing a nice stretch for us. All right. Come back wide. We had a viewer question about whether we ever bring styrofoam cups down on expedition. And that has happened before. If you look at our gallery, you can see, or it might be under the educational resources, there's some pictures of the styrofoam cups taken down to different depths, which is really fun. Uh, octocoral? I think it's another mushroom coral. Oh, mushroom yeah. coral? Which is an octo. Oh, ooh. I'm learning. You're doing good. Uh, fish. Really delicate Chrysogorgia. Looks like super tiny. There's a fish down there. Yeah. Fish? Where do you see the fish? Right there. Or something. Ah. Oh, that's a polychaete. Oh, want to zoom there, Dave? Get the oh, let's see that. Is that another one of those big ones? Ugh. Don't don't be scared, Ren. <laughs> I am. Look, oh, I got a little friend. Yeah, the, that's the, how they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be that big. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> wow. Polychaete. Yeah. Nice Polychaete. shot. Too big. Very cool shot. Yeah. Do not like. Nice shot there, Jake. Oh, yeah. Can we laser on? I think that's size yeah. Of it? yeah, sure thing. Oh, the type. Ten, cent, 10 centimeter. Yeah. Wow. It's quite it's a not swim. That's scary. That's so scary. It's cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like a woodlouse on steroids. <laughs> You'd be scared if that thing just like, you know, crawled in your ear. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. I thought, it was, I thought it was a fish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very cool. You had a question about the crinoid, whether it was related to starfish, and yes, they are in the same phylum, Echinodermata. Oh boy. There's a Brisingid star in the background, mm. looks like. On that rock? Yeah, yeah, the one facing out there. What about and at the base of the star. white one? Yeah. yeah. Right to the orange sea star. Yeah. Chrysogorgia off to the right. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Which one do you want to zoom on, Adam? I'd like to zoom on that one. That looks sure. like the ravioli. There's right. another one to the left there in the background. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. okay. If you get Don't stuck, then... Yeah. If they're the same, then we yeah. can get a little they further ahead. All right. Start zooming in there, Dave. Yeah. Getting a tan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not as full. Yeah. Very cool. There we go. You see that sponge in Argus off to your left? Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. Bruiser. <laughs> Come on. You want to go look at that there, Bob? Oh, there's a, another one beyond it. Yeah. Yeah. Just over the hill. That's where I'm going to get to. There it is. I'm going to go catch up a bit. Yeah, maybe go for the second one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.
Argus is a good hunter. Oh, yeah. Look at that one. There's one. Nice. First one. Zoom by this one. A colophagus? Like it closed yeah, up or something. Little dumpling. Go for the second guy there. The next one. Nice. So it's quite a bit shorter. Yeah. Oh. Different. Different kind. More yeah, like the ET sponge that we've been seeing. Yellowish. All right. For some beauty shots here. Oh, you got an associate. Whereabouts on top? Inside. Looks like a squat lobster inside there. Oh, yeah. How about that? That's a big one. This is nice ambient lighting. Yeah. Diffuse yeah. light from the top. <laughs> it's pretty what? nice. Watch your, watch your bumper. Right up There's just no privacy in this world anymore. You <laughs> <laughs> can also angle your HD camera a bit. Nice. Watch the GoPro. Nice. That's a big bird cage. Yes. Yeah, let's go get out ahead a bit. <clears throat> Nice shot. You can see the pores really well on that one. Yeah, beautiful. You can see the radial fractures. Mm. So black coral. Bridge nav. Add one hundred meters two six zero. Thank you. Is that a bamboo coral? Yeah, I think so. It looks yeah. like it, yeah. Down on the left, that's like a dead... Uh, dead pond prom or something from land. I think it's a that, dead sponge, dead actually. Dead sponge, yeah. Yeah. Looks like they've been coming from above. Yeah. Big one. Two. I've seen a lot more of the dead leafy sponges than live ones. Yeah. More coral diversity here as we climb. Yeah, what's the one that's... Is that Aridogorgia, the one behind that has like nothing and then a big poof? No, I think that's still a Chrysogorgia, not a, not the spiral Aridogorgia. <clears throat> yeah. 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 Massive stalk there of a extinct sponge. I have a question about uh, why there's so few associates on the large sponges. Uh, this viewer says, I would have expected all kinds of critters to be stumbling over each other to get up high in the water column. It's a great question. There There's still a lot to learn about Is that an octocoral there? Relationship. The little mushroom anthemastis. Mm. Could, 
quick zoom in there. Yep. Can you ditch the lasers for? Uh, oh, we can zoom, definitely do zoom to pass them. Nice shot. Mushroom, called a mushroom coral because when <clears throat> the polyps are retracted, it kind of resembles a mushroom. But they're out now. Little chitin in the background. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How far do they retract? Kind of like into that into sphere. The center thing? Yeah. Wow. All right, come Soft octocoral. Seeing some features in this over Yeah. It's getting a little more blocky here. Yeah. See, there's a big one. We have a viewer asking about the most surprising things we've seen. And you would think all that vegetation that's coming from land mm -hmm. would have an ecosystem that's eating it, but I yeah I don't even know how much would really make it down. You know, if they I'm surprised by how much we've seen, but yeah. you know, but I would expect it to be being eaten because mm -hmm. it's a steady the supply. On the sonar. Right. I don't know. It's off to the south. So I'd say one of the most surprising things I've seen on this expedition was a single flip-flop bottom of the deep ocean. Roger that. Polythory in there, we've got lots of different corals. Another Polythorian. Is that a crazy gorgia? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. you can see that one right there, Bob. Wow. It looks like it fell over. But, hey, can we get a zoom on the dead sponge? Yeah, the, the dead. Okay. Oops, could we zoom in on this massive pile of... Yeah. yeah. There's the base of it. Yeah, you see where it broke off at the yeah. base on the lower right? Do you want to zoom in the base? See it? Yeah. Oh, you can see the other base. It's like something... Yeah. Wild. 